the Institute of Ecological and Religious Studies, located in the western part of Ukraine in the heart of Uzhorod city, is a non-governmental organization that stands as a beacon of environmental advocacy, intertwining ecological perspectives with various religious traditions. Since its establishment 12 years ago, the Institute has effectively completed more than 20 ecological and educational projects. This achievement is thanks in large part to the collaborative efforts of esteemed partners, including the German Nature Conservation Union called NABU, the VGP Foundation, the German Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and many other valued supporters. These partnerships have been instrumental in enabling the Institute to make significant strides in promoting environmental awareness and fostering responsible ecological practices within the community. However, since February 24, 2022, the war in Ukraine has inflicted substantial environmental damage and posed formidable challenges. Despite these adversities, the Institute remains steadfastly committed to environmental education, with a particular emphasis on children and youth, with the great support of NABU. Their efforts extend to vulnerable groups such as internally displaced persons, Roma communities, and other national minorities, ensuring that ecological awareness reaches those who need it most. During two years of full-scale war, the team has accomplished a remarkable array of eco-educational activities and initiatives, including conducting at least 655 eco-educational activities for at least 15,600 children, a large part of whom are children of IDPs, organizing workshops and conferences for educators, creating online courses, holding contests, preparing educational materials in multiple languages, collaborating with museums for events, developing performances and quests, producing various educational resources like books, ecological games, manuals and calendars, conducting field research expeditions, setting up the Bear Rehabilitation Center, producing informational materials for parks and communities, and documenting the environmental impact of the war. Additionally, the team engaged in social media campaigns, purchased equipment for wildlife centers, and produced videos and TV programs on eco-relevant topics. Their efforts have made a significant impact on promoting eco-awareness and conservation efforts in the midst of war. Remember, taking care of nature is not just a responsibility, but a profound act of gratitude for the precious gift of life. It involves being mindful of our impact on the environment and making choices that promote sustainability. From reducing waste and conserving resources to supporting conservation efforts and fostering biodiversity, every action we take contributes to the well-being of our planet.